What's the worst thing you've ever done for revenge? I swapped two stickers on their Rubik's Cube. My ex cheated on me so I dated her sister. Even went to their family functions. Revenge. Shortly after she dumped me. I took her best friend to prom. Of whom she was pretty jealous. Because she got so much attention romantically when she got boobs. Although tbf. She had dumped me because she felt like right now she needed to date. Henry. While I'm the one she wants to marry eventually. She later asked me to not go to college. Out of state so we could be together. This question made me realize I have some things to work on achieving before I die ha 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 ha. The Chicago Zoo was running this Valentine's special. You could name a cockroach. So I paid to have one named after my ex. And had them send him the pamphlet about it in the mail. I disliked one of my sweetmates in college. So I paid like nine bucks to mail her an envelope full of glitter. She hated glitter. And it got everywhere. Literally everywhere. She sparkled for months. It was glorious. Burnt their shoes. Throw them in a nearby pond. Rumors. Rumors. And rumors. Me and another dude were competing for a promotion at work. I didn't like him. And I got the promotion. I didn't tell him though. And spent a whole shift bossing him around. It didn't take much more than a suggestion to piss him off. After a shift of this. He was mad enough that he went to our boss. Upon hearing the news that I got the promotion. He tried to go above my boss and get her in trouble. He gone. I needed that crappy $12.50 hourly rate. I pissed on someone's toothbrush. Rinsed it a bit and put it back. I pretty much broke my ex and her BFS relationship for what my ex did to me. A. F. Friend of mine was mad at me for not liking her boyfriend. He was an abusive and toxic dude that punched me once. I made a fake profile pretending to be a blonde girl just so I could bait my friend's boyfriend. Into cheating. Sent the screenshots of everything he said he wanted to do to my friend so they broke up. Vandalized someone's priced garden. The very evening before a competition. Impregnated my stepbrother's fiancé to get back at my ex-stepdad for telling me I wasn't welcomed. In his home. Ruined any chance for their family name to be continued. Absolutely and utterly destroyed a brand new Porsche in San Francisco. The entitled driver had sped around me to steal a space I was pulling into the only space in the lot. Right at the front of the Steinhardt Aquarium. We ended up a seven minute walk away. The car was still there after the Laserium show. We were good and drunk. Every mirror and window was shattered. We stomped in every panel. The hood. The roof. Kicked in the doors. Ran around it with keys for a good 20 laps. Stole the license plate. Slashed all four tire sidewalls. And we both pissed into the driver's seat. We worked so hard on it we were dripping sweat at the end. Felt good. Real good. My neighbor. Beat his wife and kids daily. So I cut the brakes to his car and he got into an accident and has been in a vegetative state ever. Since. And I convinced his wife to take the kids and move back into her parents to be safe. And then she submitted the divorce papers and is doing well now and so are the kids. I like to check in on them all every now and then. And tbh I am glad I didn't kill him. Because any fucker can be granted death in a bad enough situation. But having to live with only being able to use the parts of your brain that keep you alive and. Needing everything else done for you and and needing like feed bags and catheters and all sorts of. Stuff like that is a special hell all in its own. The guy's stuck on life support. To be honest I think this suits him a lot more than death. Smile with horns. Bashed a guy with a 40 and stabbed him with it. 
drug a guy out of bed in the middle of the night and beat him mercilessly. This guy was just a cocky little prick. His mere existence made me want to beat him. I got into it with him at a house party a day prior. Things escalated quickly and I intended to kick his ass. Instead of one on one though. I had five of his buddies on me in an instant and they kicked the shit out of me. I came back the next night with four or five of my friends to back me up. I went into his apartment. Roommate let us in not knowing what was going to happen. Found him sleeping. Pulled him out of his bed to the floor. Straddled him. And gave him countless left, right blows to the face. He literally cried. I beat him until he was bloody and passed. Knocked out laying in a pool of his own blood. I had his blood splattered all over me. It was a very foolish thing to do in hindsight. Thinking of the trouble I could have gotten into legally. But I am still not sorry. A month or two later. At another party. The little prick's older brother wanted to start shit with me. I didn't want to fight with him. His friends were holding him back and trying to calm him. Until he told them who I was. They let him go and it was inevitable. He came at me. Without hesitation I landed a blow to the side of his head with an unopened can of beer I had in my hand. He faltered and grabbed me. Pulling me down by my shirt. As we fell. I kept smashing his head with the can in rapid succession. By the time we hit the ground I had landed probably a dozen blows and actually broke the can open. On his skull. That was the end of it. After that. Neither of them wanted to fight with me anymore. When I would encounter either of them occasionally after. They were actually pretty nice to me and would greet me with a handshake rolling on the floor laughing.